Whiplash. And we just started the stream. Come and join, join the fun, join the fun. I'm in the room. I'm in the room. David, what's going on, buddy? We are playing Quiplash. If you want to join and have a great time, feel free to join at Jackbox TV and use that code. Use that code and you can join right in. In the meantime, Movie Mania, Nick is in the house. We are playing Quiplash, which is like a trivia game, which is a little crazy, but it's for the sake of comedy, of entertainment, all that fun stuff. So all you want to do is hit jackbox.tv on your cell phone just like how it did mine, and then put in that code and you can play along with me, which is a lot of fun. There you go. Jordan Gasly is here for the Dole Whips. Get the Dole Whip, get the Dole Whip, get the Dole Whip. You gotta get the Dole Whip, get the Dole Whip, get the Dole Whip. The Whip! All right, we'll do a test run. We'll wait to see if we get one more person in. One. There you go. There you go. Alma's in the house. How you doing? Everybody's here, Big Tim. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's let's start it. Everybody's in. Let's go. Three, two, one. This is my first time ever playing the game, so I don't really know what to expect. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Comico, and it'll be emotional. Hey you there, Schmitty? Here, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hi, I Ashley. I how are you doing today? Well, we'll see if I'm Everybody's right. doing all right? <laughs> round round one. one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You score based on the percentage of players okay, who like so your answer. Okay, so it'll give Plus, you two answers and then stake. it goes head no. to head, I guess. A lot similar to like the t-shirts. All right, and it gives you a bunch of questions and you gotta like answer it. Wait a minute, here we go. Oh, that didn't, that didn't, okay. That that may not have made any sense. But we'll, we'll go ahead and try it. We'll see what's gonna happen. This should be fun. We're gonna have a good time. Liz is there, Big Tim, David Lay is ready, Jordan Gasly is ready. We're still waiting on two. They're finishing up the questions, jocks. Adrian Gimbo, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Welcome aboard. We're just playing a little quiplash, which means that the next round, if you didn't get to play, you get to play the next time, but you can be a part of the audience. Why is my character a purple one-eyed monster? I don't know. 
It has a little bit of adult undertones in it. We're still waiting for one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. The first prompt is a better name for dandruff. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. A better name for dandruff, head shed, or scalp dust. I'm a big fan of of one of them. <laughs> Although I never really called dandruff scalp dust, but I think I'm going to call it scalp dust from now on. <laughs> it only seems like the most appropriate thing to call dandruff. Head shed. Nah, I think scalp dust Next would be one. best. But like, you got your scalp dust on me. The worst thing that you can discover in your burrito. Farts or poop. It's voting time. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's worse. If somebody farted in my burrito, or if somebody pooped in my burrito. Because if you farted in the burrito, it's just a smell, right? But if somebody literally pooped. Hey! Poop will be the worst thing to find in your burrito! Black Panther's in the house. What's going on, buddy? Poop! 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 And next poop! Is Poop! Santa Claus would be a bigger, bigger badass, badass if his sleigh, sleigh were driven by, by eight tiny, tiny models or... No answer from Sarah, but... Hey, if Santa Claus had eight models that took him to where he needed to go, that would have been a lot of fun. What Smokey What's the Bear Smokey does is? when he's not fighting forest fires? 420 or Poopy! <laughs> God, this is a hard one. What would the Smokey the Bear be when he's not for, uh, fighting for fires? Would it be smoking the ganj or taking a poop? But does a bear poop in the woods? Hey, that is exactly what Smokey the Bear would be doing. Starting fires, exactly, Adrian. 100%. Next in line, what do you guess is an unadvertised ingredient in most hot dogs? Oh, jeez. Hog nose or possum? <laughs> uh, what's really in a hot dog? Because hot, like, hog nose would probably be, like, the most real obvious choice. It's a tie! The audience goes to possum as an ingredient in a hot dog. Next up, the weirdest sentence a judge could impose. A thousand frozen in carbonite. I mean, a thousand years frozen in carbonite would be the weirdest. Coming up next, a rejected, a rejected tourism, tourism slogan, slogan for Des Moines, Des Moines Iowa. Iowa. Home of the blank. Home of the cousin fuckers! Calling your devices. Ah! <laughs> Des Moines, Iowa. Home of the cousin effers. Come on down, Des Moines, Iowa. It only seems appropriate for Des Moines, Iowa to be home of the cousin effers. Let us exceed your already low That's expectations. Round one. Let's take a look at the scores. David Lay lived in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> Good job, Jocks. Good job. And that's how this game is going to be played. So we're doing pretty good so far. All right, here we go. All right.
Diz Flakes and Tidbits, what's going on? How are you? You can always join the room, join the audience, because your votes count. Jackbox.tv Salvador Van Gogh is in the house, y'all. Here we go. So far, this this has been a very crazy round. A very, very crazy last round. I think we had Sarah in the room. She may have came in, probably dropped out. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. It's not often that people stream and can play along with me. I'm going to have a good time. Orlando Park Rovers. Super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let's start this show. Let's Starting go, baby. Off, a slogan to get everyone Everybody's excited about corn. Corn hub. Okay, corn, but not the feet kind. <laughs> to, to get everybody excited about corn. I mean, corn, but not the feet kind. It, it still sounds nasty, but so does corn hub. Good job, Dave. Good job, Dave. You went with the corn up. I did like that answer. It's a great answer. Okay, next one. Orlando oh, Parks Rover, thank you so much, sir. For a, cruise ship. a terrible name for a cruise ship. Titanic, part two. Nah. Given. That was a given. Titanic, part two. Coming up next. Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne's, Osbourne's Twitter, Twitter password, probably. Sure. <laughs> Is Sarah asleep and or dead? That would be his password. And next is... A bad, a bad substitute, substitute for, for a toothbrush. toothbrush. Toilet brush or it's toenail brush. Time. Oh, jeez. That's a hard one. That would be a hard one. A toilet brush or toenail brush? Toilet brush! It's in the toilet, technically. You gotta put your mouth to it. It is pretty gross. It is pretty gross. You to both. Welcome, Ryan. Here we go. Weird thing you hear from your doctor. I'm afraid you have swollen ballitis. I'm afraid you have swollen ballitis. Or I'm afraid you have herpes of the herpes. What if the doctor did say you have herpes, herpes of the herpes? <laughs> I guess I got the audience favorite. That's good, but swollen ball ballitis I think kind of works too. Next one. I won the popular if vote. God has a sense of humor. He welcomes people to heaven by saying blank. Yo, Holmes the ballet. Or, ew, go back down. <laughs> ew, go back down. You go back down. I don't want to see you again. Go back down underground. Please. Or, yo, Hobbs, the Bel Air. I pull up to a house to the of Bel Air. Yes. 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 And the audience favorite, baby. Next up, the best, the best thing, thing to, to shoot get out shot of out of a cannon. <laughs> people who live in Iowa are crap. Somebody has it out for people in Iowa. Like just taking people in Iowa, putting in a cannon, and shooting them out. Can we just say that Jacques really hates people in Iowa? Like, there's a hatred, a hatred going on. Round two is now complete. Let's see. Round two, guys. It well. We did it, y'all. Hey, Seth Rollins lives in Iowa. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, I made it to number one, guys. I'm the funniest. 
And the last lash. The oh, last lash. All point, point values, values are, are tripled. tripled. And you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. <laughs> Your last lash prompt is... A magazine that should never have a nude centerfold. <laughs> Mmm. I think my answer is, uh, is spicy. It's a little spicy. No, Ryan, what he's saying is that, uh, Seth Rollins is originally from Iowa, which is the truth. Not where he's living now, but where he was, which is true. Iowa. But this answer is spicy. Little spicy, eh? Boy's life is what Orlando Park Rover says. It's that would be horrible. All right, let's go. Here's what everybody wrote. Okay, in round three, you sad can face, three reminiscent, votes. You senior citizen answer, mag, Disney Adventures, out. and Donald Trump Weekly. A magazine that should never have a nude centerfold. Now, I think senior citizen should not have a nude centerfold at all. I don't know what Reminiscence is. Sad Face. It's a sad magazine. Now, Disney Adventures, I would say that would probably be very sad if it had a nude centerfold because then it'd be like Mickey Mouse nude or Minnie Mouse naked. And, and that's weird to me. As it would be weird to like anybody else, right? Poor Jocks. Sad faces on jocks. You tried. Seven percent. Donald Trump Weekly. I only got two votes. That's okay. That's okay. Disney Adventures. That's okay. Okay. Senior Citizen Mag. Thirty-six. Okay. Okay. So right now is me and Jordan Gassy tied. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. And Senior Citizens didn't even place. Uh -huh. Hey! Champion! Champ! Oh, my, my belt's falling. Champion! All right, let's go new players. So I'm going to open up a new... Possum and answer. All right, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna start a new room. ID B. Get in the game, Jackbox TV. Put in the code ID B E. Come on in, let's play, baby. Two dollar super chat. To Chris, the Shriner dog. All right, let's go. We got everybody in. Everybody's in. Let's play. Hi, I'm Schmitty, which is all yeah. This game is online, so everybody that's playing, we're all playing together on the phone. at any cost. Any. What better way to live stream than to interact this way, right? This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of. Oh man, I want to get on the next one. You got to make it to the next one. Than your opponent. Go. All right, here we go. Answers are going to be super good. Super good. Dwayne, we are playing Quiblash. Quiblash, it's on. It's really fun. This is a lot of good. Jordan Gasly should probably go back to work. I say nay. You don't need to go back to work. But you're waiting on one more person. They're getting their answers. Checking it twice. Boo -doo 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 waiting on one. They got one. They got answers. I got mine. And I'm ready to see what they got. Maybe now. 
They all know that today is the Black Path is it! Yes, okay, baby! It's Let's time for go! Some First one, the least threatening name for a serial killer. The, the Boston, Boston Salad. Or okay, the Boston everyone, Bean. Your favorite. Man. I mean, if you had the Boston Salad. Oh, God. Watch yourself. The Boston Salad's coming after you. Or the Boston Bean Counter. The Boston Bean Counter. You might be keep counting beans. I do like the Boston salad, like, who's gonna hurt you? Good job, Akron! Next in line, a good, good. stage name for a chimpanzee stripper. Yeah, Boston Cream Bite. It's voting time. Whoa. Uh, Passimian or Banana Split? Welcome to the stage, Passimian! Or welcome to the stage, Banana Split. I mean... <laughs> Come on, Banana Split is a good one, okay? This, this is a, that's a good, good stage name for a chimpanzee. If a chimpanzee straight, like, super... A lesson that should never be taught on Sesame Street. How to make super chat or oh, how to pick up a girl at the bar. Woo, that's a hard one. What would be on? Would it? Would a? Would a super chat be on Sesame Street? Would that be a Sesame Street lesson, or maybe how to pick up a girl at the bar? That'd be interesting. <laughs> Tied. Where did the audience fall? We tied again. Good job, Black Panther. Good job, we tied. That was actually really good. Next that was one, a great answer. The worst name for a mountain. Death. Or <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's go climb Brokeback Mountain. That one hit me in the feels. <laughs> we tied up again. But the audience goes with Death Mountain! Good job, Cassie! And next is... The 11th, the 11th Commandment, commandment Thou shalt, shalt not. not! Kick puppies it's or fart done. in Space Mountain! That is a great commandment! Those are really good commandments! I'm a little bit partial to fart in Space Mountain, but kick puppies should definitely be up there in one of the top commandments. Yes! Fifty percent. The audience says kick puppies, fart in Space Mountain. Coming up next, HR would probably get the most complaints on bring your blanket oh, to no. work day. Oh no! Oh no! Vote on your devices. I'm done. <laughs> I'm d <laughs> oh boy. Bring your Second Amendment rights to work today? Is that even... <laughs> Next up, your personal catchphrase if you are on one of those Real Housewives shows. Oh no. It's voting time. Bad doggy or where's my wine? Now would bad doggy be said like Larry the Cable Guy? Like, get her done. Come on, get her done. Bad doggy. Come on, bad doggy. Tied again! Wow! These are all really, really fantastic okay, answers. Next one. It would be awesome to win Jeopardy with the phrase, what is blank, Alex? Time to vote. Oh my god! Bleeding hemorrhoids! <laughs> What is life, Alex?
Actually, it would be awesome to ask Alex Trebek if, uh, what, what is bleeding hemorrhoids? Alex Trebek. This was a fucking fire round. Good job, Black Panther. Round two is Here straight we go. ahead, and that means all points are doubled. the question um i don't know what okay, the question here be here we go our first prompt is, anyone can join in as an audience jimmy member yes hoffa? where's jimmy hoffa sea world okay, or on his knees bend the knee if he is at sea world nobody will find him nobody will find him not a single one but on his knees probably that's probably what happened back in the day Next time, BZ. Next one. You know you're you really know you're drunk. Really when. drunk when. You catch 99 oh, greenies, devices. or you sing Africa. What's 99 greenies? That like I don't know that one. I mean, we're talking about Africa by Toto. I just don't understand 99 greenies. I don't get the reference. I sing Africa on a regular basis. And I don't need alcohol for it. The worst, the worst name, name for a funeral, for a funeral home. home. Bury them in it's fried chicken done. shack or last call. <laughs> Bury them and fried chicken. Can you imagine? Last call. I know who I want to take me home. And next is the Skittles flavor that just missed the cut. Oh no! Time to vote. Buttered nuts or earwax? Did you imagine eating like Skittles? This is either of those. It's like the Birdie Bots. Every flavor. F mm. Good job, Black Panther. Hey, butter nuts sounds pretty good. It made my stomach rumble. Coming up next, little known fact, the scariest animal in the world is the blank cobra. The hairy cobra, or the orborn cobra. The hairy cobra, or the arbork, arbork cobra. What if there was like a really like furry, like the trouser cobra actually would be the scariest one. That would be horrible. I think, yeah, I think that's what he was going with, like, that is, uh, our bar. Uh, like, Cobra from Pokemon? Next in line, what's the Mona Lisa smiling oh, about? Oh, no. She just farted! It's just done. had sex! And it feels so good! Felt so good! I think, I mean, the farted one, more than likely, because back in the day, that may have been, like, something that was funny. She needs a cigarette. I tried, BZ. I was with you. I was with you. I thought that was really good. Smile wasn't big Next enough. Up, 
Oh, it's right, Black Panther. You're right. Purchase on Willy Wonka's credit card statement. All right, well, what do we got? A massive chocolate flavored condoms or Candy's ass. Rudy Poo Candy Days. But could you imagine if Willy Wonka like spent money on like massive chocolate flavored condoms? <laughs> Close, so close. And next is Here we go. the worst menu. Worst item menu that starts you, oh with no. all you can eat. Chitlins it's or bean done. burritos. But I kinda like bean burritos. Like Like I can't really hate on bean burritos. I think they're really good. All you can eat bean burritos, I'm in, but chitlins? Yeah, ever wonder why there isn't any female Oompa Loompas? I think about that all the time. But bean burritos? I mean, that's a great answer, dog. I mean, if they have all you can eat bean burritos, I'm in. Like, I'm 100% in. And that's all in. for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. Where are we at? <laughs> Akron has been on a tear. He has been on a tear. He's been doing Welcome an amazing the job. Lash, the final round. Stakes this is are the tripping. last There's round, guys. Remember, because we're all in the all same thing here. Your prompt is another use another for marshmallows. Use for marshmallows. Birth control. Yeah, yeah, that would probably be a good one. What are you playing? I can't find it in the app store. This right, is uh, Quiplash, actually. And votes. you can actually get in the next game on Jackbox. Rat pillows, earplugs, the dark moon. Oh, jeez. But I like how toe separators and pedicure accessories are like the same thing. Well, sort of, right? I mean, they would technically be almost like similar. Lindy Pack, we are playing Quiplash, which has been insanity so far. The Dark Moon, not bad, not bad, good choice. Not a bad choice. Pedicure accessories. A for sit. I feel it. I feel it. Cloud poops. A for sit goes to cloud poops. I feel that. Rat pillows. Butt pads. Knee pads? <laughs> Who puts marshmallows in their ears? <laughs> Toe separators! You told me I got 21% of the vote! That's all. Now for the final scores. Do I redeem my championship? Yeah. Nope. Good job, Akron. Good job, Akron. That was a fantastic one. We're gonna do new players this time. All right, if you wanna join the game, it's BX. GW. I'm in. So go to Jackbox TV, put in the code if you want to get in on this new game. Lindy Pack is in the house. Akron, good job at winning the game. 
Akron is back. Black Panther, Cassie, the Lindy Pack, myself. Who else wants it? Please join this Nola D. She's in the house, y'all. He's here. What's the password? You go to jackbox.tv bxgw. Now we're the, the room is full. Your mom is here. Jin is here. If you want to be part of the audience, be part of the audience. We'll have more games. We're gonna keep this party going. Orlando Park Rover, let's go! Welcome to the game. I'm Josh Schmidtenstein, but you can call me Josh Schmitty Schmidtenstein, or just Josh, or just Schmitty, but not just Schmidtenstein. All right, good group. Now remember, if Gandhi were alive, this is exactly what he would be doing right now. Time round round one. one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. I'm sad, yellow dude. Big, yeah. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's go. We're waiting on two people. Two people. Akron's in the house. Somebody's thinking of the perfect joke. The most funniest joke. The Lindy Pack. Here let's we go. First up, you wouldn't want to share a prison cell with someone named Blank. Okay, voting time. Pick mm. your favorite. You wouldn't want to share a prison cell with someone named Ted Bundy or Petunia. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, like, that, I mean, uh, call me Petunia. That's a good one. That was a good one. Your mom. Jin, Ted Bundy was a good choice too. And next, an inappropriate theme oh, for no. a set of kids' pajamas. No. Vote on your devices. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Go ahead and get your uh, pajamas, Rick and Morty. Morty, Morty, go ahead and put in your your pajamas. Or Big Booty Judy. That would be horrible. Come get your pajamas by Big Booty Judy. Sorry, Cassie. That that one was way too good. That was way too good. Next in line, something that'd be fun to throw off the Eiffel Tower. What would be fun to throw off the Eiffel Tower? It's pancakes or a bag of dirty diapers. What would be fun to throw pancakes off the Eiffel Tower? Pancakes are delicious. I don't want to throw pancakes off the Eiffel Tower. They're so good. Pancakes are delicious. But it would be fun to throw a bag of dirty diapers completely off the Eiffel Tower. Hit somebody in the face, splat. Disgusting. Next one. On your wedding night, it would be horrible to find out that the person you married is oh. Blake. Dick Cheney or your Time sister's brother? I married my sister's brother, which is me. But Dick Cheney would be probably a bad choice. Good job, Nola Deej. He got the the majority vote okay, there. A terrible vacation, a terrible vacation idea. idea going, going to visit going the museum of <laughs> fart jars or vomit from the people mover. 
What would be a good, like, I mean, if, hey, family, you pack on up. We're going to go visit the Museum of Fart Jars. You ever wanted to smell, um, you know, Ben Affleck's fart or see vomit from the people mover? There we go, baby. The Museum of Vomit from next, the People Mover. Something they will probably never make a series of commemorative stamps for. Oh no. Butt crack mountain or time. ham sandwiches. Just the best ham sandwiches from like 1800 to 1900? Ham sandwiches! But Butt Crack Mountain would be pretty funny. To see a bunch of stamps of just Butt Cracks okay, from the mountain. Next one. A strange place to hold a family reunion. Vote on your devices. Alright, let's see. Uh, uh, the basement would be a little creepy, wouldn't it? Hey, come over to my house! We're going in the basement! We're going to sit in the basement and just, uh... Just look at my chains! Next up! The best, the best thing, thing about, about being thrown, thrown into, into a volcano... volcano. Burned to a crisp to or vote. death! <laughs> what? Out of the two, which will be the best choice? Being burnt to a crisp or dying. Both sound like very reasonable options. <laughs> That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Hey, Nola Deej is on top. Good job, Nola Deej. It's now time I knew you could do it, two. buddy. Everything is worth double, twice as much. All right, let's go. I think, uh, I, th I think we, uh, I think we're good here. I think we might be good. This wood. I'm, I'm a little nervous on some of the questions that may have been asked. I'm really nervous. I'm kind of terrified. I'm a little scared. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, this is actually a really fun party game. I like to be able to stream it and hang out with you guys and play games too. That way you guys just aren't watching me. Alright, Liddy Pack, let's see what you got. Starting things off, Show me what you got. day off is just 12 straight hours of blank. Ooh. Okay, everyone, vote The for perfect your day off is just 12 straight hours of napping or Dazny. Then you want 12 straight hours of the Walt Dazny company. If you go to Walt Disney, you can just go up all this everybody every day Disney. Hey, but everybody wants to go to Disney for 12 straight hours. It's a perfect day off. 12 straight. But napping's good too. You can nap for 12 hours. Miss the entire day away. That's good Next too. Next in line, the worst Halloween costume for a young child. It's voting time. Oh god. Stripper Ariel or Potter Porta Junk Cleaner? <laughs> I 
<laughs> there you go, Kirby! Let's go! Stripper Ariel will be a bad choice for a kid. And next, the coolest way to die. The coolest way. Stabbed oh, by Bob devices. Iger and Joe Rody. Or stabbed by a unicorn. Both instances are being stabbed, by the way. So, being stabbed already is being cool, but what? Who is stabbing you? A unicorn, a Bob Arger, and Joe Rody stabbing you at the same time. <laughs> that would be pretty cool being stabbed by Bob Iger and Joe Rody. Come on, like. Queen Elizabeth's deepest, darkest secret. Oh no. It's She's two people stacked on top of each other at 12 toes. That would be funny if she died and it's just like two people were like, just kind of collapsed. Well, I think the 12 toes thing would be kind of interesting, like if they took off her shoes and she just had all these Next toes. One, what John Goodman's belches Oh smell like. no, no. Time to vote. <laughs> I like how both of them deal with beer. Michelob Light or beer and Fritos? I'm trying to think of the worst smelling one. But what type of beer? And what type of Fritos? Because that changes everything. Good job, Cassie. Cause I think beer and Fritos would be a little bit too much. It line, just definitely smells. He looks like a guy. You'd eat first if you were a cannibal, and the side dish you'd eat them with. Oh no! <laughs> Triple H with fava beans or mini me. But if I eat mini me, I'll have I'll be hungry in like an hour. And next, something you wouldn't expect a Ouija board to say. It's voting time. Do me. <laughs> I'm done. We tied. That's fine. I'm just imagining the 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 Ouija board saying "Do me." The grossest thing you could find at the bottom of a swimming pool. Oh no! Pool. No. Time to vote. No! No! <laughs> no! Oh my god! <laughs> well, technically, you said the grossest thing you find in the bottom of a swimming pool. He went to the most extreme, grossest thing ever. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. All right, we got one chance. Something you shouldn't buy off of Craigslist. Oh no, which is everything. Whoa, really? The answer I put on here was somebody already took it. That's crazy, I never had that happen.
All right. LOL, discounted Disney tickets. Yeah, you should never buy discounted Disney tickets on Craigslist. It's always bad. Everybody's in. Give out your votes now. <laughs> Something you shouldn't buy off of Craigslist. Used underpants, condoms, used toenail clippers, used condoms, used underwear and thongs, medicine, a used dildo. So what's funny is that used underpants and used underwear and thongs, that's two of the same. Condoms, used condoms, used toenail clippers, everything is used. A used dildo, medicine is literally the most safest answer when it comes to this. Whoops, my dog prevented me from writing something down. <laughs> literally, like, you set yourself up for these answers. I mean, you shouldn't buy medicine off of Craigslist. Absolutely, no. Use underpant? Yeah. You know, you want to... You don't want to buy using a uh, used underpant. Use toenail clippers? No, you don't want to ever buy used toenail clippers on Craigslist. Although I'm tempted to put it on Craigslist to see it. Condoms? Yeah, that goes without saying. But not just condoms. I'm just talking about used condoms. Used underwear and thongs? That's disgusting, right? Like, you don't want to buy anything like that. Used condoms. Somebody actually used them and they're selling it on Craigslist. Disgusting. A used dildo. The Lindy Pack knocked it out of the park. Voila. 42% of it's the over. votes. Let's take a look at the final scores. Cassie was on top, guys. Cassie wins! Good job, Cassie. Good job. Fantastic work. All right, new players, guys. We're going another round. One more round. One more round. Let's go. B-G-O-E. Let's go. Good job, Cassie. First to last. She did just fine. We'll get in just one more. Doogie Beast, Lindy Pack, Ball Sock. Ball sock. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Quiplash. I could be just opening up myself to something really bad, but let's let's go. We got one more round. This is the last round. The last game. This is round one. You score based on the percentage of players. I'm a one eyed monster. Answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. All right, let's go. Get those answers. Get those bam, better than 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 bam. Oh, oh, this is a banger. Bang right here. I love it. Get the man serious. Quit flash every every day. Then I'm streaming. Give me super chat. I take the super chat. I'll be in the super chat. Okay. We got two more people. Two more people. Akron is here. I think one person joined in. I think that was that ball sack. But that's okay. Okay. You're out. Your answers don't lesson. count. First one. The old English. No! 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 Okay. No! No! 
Oh my god! A Vaggy Crumpet? I'm done! <laughs> I'm done! A Vaggy Crumpet. A Hot Pocket is good. That was a good choice. A Vaggy Crumpet, Next though. Up, hashtag. Hashtag Vaggy Crumpet. Playing poker. Hedgehogs playing Twister oh, or cats devices. eating dogs. Ooh, this is a good one. I mean, I would imagine if hedgehogs were playing like Twister, they're like blue this and they're like this. Vaggy Crumpet is gold. That was a good one. That was a good one, Akron. Hashtag Vaggy Crumpet. Okay, next one. A birthday present you shouldn't get for your grandmother. No, no. It's voting time. No! Well, technically, you should get your grandma the condoms. You don't know what your grandma's up to, okay? It's a tie! I, I, I was rooting for you, Balzac. I swear to God, it was. A ticket to the slingshot ride would have been great to give somebody's grandmother. And next is a lot of condoms. That's a great answer, though. Outfit to wear to your first day at a new job. Ill outfit to wear to your first day at your new job. A Borat bathing suit or a big baby diaper. Wow. You know the Borat bathing suit where it was just kind of like, you guys saw Borat. You know, that's an old movie. But a big baby diaper would be crazy to wear. You're close, Ray. You were really close. Borat bathing suit on your first day of job. That'd be a little awkward, okay, though. Okay, next one. Tip, never, never eat, eat at a place, place called Kentucky, Kentucky Fried, Fried Condoms. It's voting time. Oh! Kentucky Fried Poop or Kentucky Fried Tate? Kentucky Fried Tate! Kentucky Fried Poop! Sorry, Kentucky Fried Tank. I, w I, I would be a little weary of that place. Next in line, like plutonium or Einsteinium, what would you name the next periodic table element they discover? Eyes and beast, baby, beast, baby, beast, baby, beast, baby, beast, baby. Coming up next, a bad name for a hospital. Oh boy, here we go. Unsafe aliens or oh nobody dies devices. here memorial. What unsafe aliens or nobody dies here memorial. Which hospital would be the poorly named choice? <laughs> and I win the audience vote. The popular vote is me. Next up, what mustaches should be called? Oh no. Room brooms or the Time lip cozy? You know, I gotta say, I'm a little partial to the womb brooms. And could you imagine how many subs Tim Tracker would have already had if he called his the womb broom? Like, he would have been up by a million, a million subs! By the way, did Tampa J already shave his uh, womb broom? <laughs> That's the end of round one. Let's that was just first. round one. So, so far, so good, guys. Fantastic rounds. Mm -hmm. Dougie Beast, number one. Teach him how to Dougie. Teach him how to Dougie. All right, let's go. Are double the drama.
All right, here we go. Oh, this one's a difficult mm -hmm. one. Um... Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if my answers are very good. Now, like, my answers, I really had to think long and hard about them. These, these, these are... These are rough. These are rough, 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 rough ones. This round has some good music. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Where is this game being played off of? It's on my PlayStation. A possible entry in Gary oh, Busey's no. dream journal. Tonight I dreamed blank. <laughs> Okay, everyone, oh, vote for your favorite. No. <laughs> I don't know. Both are so great answers. <laughs> OPR, that was such a good answer. But hey, I got angry at a rhino and tore up in his ass. That, that, that's mo the most Gary Busey thing I've ever heard. But cocaine is and close. Next, something you shouldn't buy at a yard sale. Condoms. It's voting time. Oh! <laughs> oh! I like how all the answers have devolved into the most insane, insane answers. I wouldn't buy those. I couldn't. I wouldn't. Kim Kardashian's ass. You can. Next one. A trick you'd like to see a poodle do. Oh boy. <laughs> I would love to see a poodle clean up their own poo. Or the laundry. Hey, poodle, I have this laundry. I need you to go ahead and clean it for me. Okay, cool. Flush my laundry. If you're going to be here in my house all day, do the laundry at least, right? Next, something a talking doll probably should not say when you pull the string. This is where poop comes out or your devices. Oh, harder? I concede in this question. Thank you. Holy crap. And next, something you should never use as a scarf. Uh, again, with the condoms. A scarf made of used tampons. I thought it said condoms. What is going on here? The de-evolution of the answers. But OPR has learned the ways of winning. <laughs> and next is something overheard at the Last Supper. Let's get it's voting time. <laughs> oh. 
I think it's the second one. That's something I would have overheard. Oh, man. I will not be demonetized. I'm going to be... I, I swear, this, this... This is insanity. Good job, Lindy Pack! You guys picked the same answer. Okay, like, legit, one. the same thing. The real secret to living to age 100. All right, well, what's the secret? Womb brooms? Vote on your devices. Womb brooms twice or showering every three months? Well, I was, I mean, technically, anyone at 100 has a, has a mustache, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I win! Showering every three months. Yes! Next in line, the worst way to fly, blank airlines. Condom airlines! Time to vote. Crash Ed. That sounds like a really fun airline to be on. Crash Ed Airlines. I crashed. Sorry, Ray. That, that one was way too good. Uh, I would not fly on Crash Shed Airlines. He won that one. Well deserved. Well deserved. Two, well deserved. Ball sock. All right, we're, back, we're on round three. This is round Best three. way to live a hundred is to drink crash. Beverly One every day. That's right. That's Point too much trash on Condom Airlines. Gets the same There's a lot of trash, but see, I think I would ride on Condom the Airlines before I ride on Crash Shed. How many monkeys is too many monkeys? How many monkeys is... I'm afraid of the answers. And here's what you did. Vote with your votes. How many no. monkeys is too many monkeys? Uh, there's no such thing as too many. At least a thousand in my ass. Uh, one trillion condoms there are n <laughs> condoms is an answer <laughs> there are never enough monkeys and as many that you can fit in your ass <laughs> I, I can't At least a thousand in my ass. <laughs> oh my god. There is no such thing as too many monkeys. One trillion or billion or zillion whatever that none should we do one more condoms because condoms is a choice ball sack is a little beach oh boy That's it. Let's take a look at the final scores. Good job, ball sacks, little bees.
Let's go one more. New players, baby. H I E I. Let's go. New round. One last round. Come aboard, please. Let's have a good time. Chris is in the house. Positive Ray. Dougie Beast. And if you haven't joined, I apologize. Just go ahead and join the audience. Who knows? We might play this game next week because it's actually really fun. This is fun. I should do the t-shirt one. The t-shirt one was a lot of fun to design my Let's new t-shirt. I'm Schmitty. This is Quiplash, and we're on Earth. That about covers it. Oh, this is going to be fun. And if it's not, it's your fault. Let's do it. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer. And a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go. All right, let's go. Uh. The funny thing about this game is literally like a free-for-all. It is a 100% free-for-all. Still waiting on one more. Oh, 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 oh. Let's take a look. Oh. The first prompt is what do you call a baby Sasquatch? Lord, no, okay, Disco Lord, Yeti. <laughs> disco Yeti don't move. We gotta make the strobe lights move. Or Lil Herder. Oh, Lil Herder. But Disco Yeti. I would call Baby Sasquatch Disco Yeti, though. Not bad, Chris! Chris comes through with the audience vote. Good job. Next up, what's actually causing global warming? What is causing global warming? Donald Trump's oh, mouth. Devices. Or seniors having sex. This is a hard one. Because it sounds like two of the same answer. Good job, Ray. Good job, Ray. <laughs> Next in line, the name of a species of dinosaur you wouldn't want oh, to meet. Oh no, oh no. It's voting time. <laughs> Dusosaurus or Penisaurus Rex. It's a tie! Oh, oh, but I win the popular vote. Next time, Cassie, next time. Definitely not our dino. Not our dino. Supposed to make sense of Super Chat. Super Chat, BB. What aliens do with you after the anal probe? Well, they can either make you breakfast or put you in a giant condom and shoot you into space. Here we go. As soon as somebody says the condom word, we have broken the condom barrier, and then every answer becomes condoms for some reason. This is crazy, but I did vote for it because it was original. But make you breakfast is a good one. 
Thank you again for the super chat. Spokesman. Ten door hairs. Coming up next. You can join the audience. So what was that movie Birdman about anyway? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Batman's wet dreams or Batman slowly going insane and entering retire. I think he meant retirement. But no. That was a good answer. Sorry, Cassie. You tried. You tried. You tried. But I agree. I think uh, I really, one, really think a little, that little known fact over, over the course of a lifetime, lifetime the average person, person eats, 10 eats ten blank. Vote on your devices. Ah! Ah! The average person eats ten dicks or nuggets of poo. I'm gonna say nuggets of poo because maybe somebody poo in your. In your Cheerios! It's a tie! I guess! And next is the name of a font nobody would ever use. It's voting I'm time. done. I'm done. I'm done. Vaggy Crumpet. What would the font look like? A Vaggy Crumpet. Nice call. Fantastic callback. <laughs> a vaggy crumpet. Okay, next one. Come up with a slogan for the Russian tourism board. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Come up with a slogan for the Russian tourism board. Gas leak, maintenance is coming, or 1-800-BUTT-PLUG? Is that appropriate slogan for the Russian uh, tourism board? I was really scared of the answers that come out of this, but it, it, they were good. They were good enough. Good job, Ray. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Good job, round one. Oh, this is Ray takes the lead. The sleeper hit takes the lead. Round Good job. Two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard this me. is gonna be this is gonna be scary. I'm, I'm terrified. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Woo! All right. So some of these questions are insane. If you're still in the chat, if you're in if you're in the stream, Good luck, guys. I, I am nervous. I'm very nervous at... What's some of your answer gonna be? I mean, we only get two. But the ones I got... Wow! These were amazing questions, right? Right? Like, these questions... I'm not even gonna say anything. This is a treat. This is a real... Real treat. For the last round of the day, this is a treat for all 16 people watching the Let's chat. Start this show. First one, a bad place to skinny dip. A toilet or okay, a church favorite. fountain. But if it's at a toilet, then it's just you. But a church fountain, everyone gets to see you. Right? Like, everyone is going to see you skinny dipping. Good job, Ray. 
<laughs> that was a fantastic game. <laughs> And next, the worst Vegas casino, Blank Palace. Time to. Ah! <laughs> How did you guys come up with the same answer? The same answer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maggie Crumpet! You know it, good job, Chris. You just went for it. You went for it! And next is... The name of a painting Michelangelo was ashamed he created. Vote on your devices. I don't get the G. I don't get the G. Renaissance diaper baby, though. I'm Michelangelo, I'm ashamed I created... The Renaissance diaper baby. The Vaggy Crumpet. It's the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. Coming up next, come up with a name for a kooky ostrich who solves mysteries. Inspector V it's Crumpet. <laughs> Maggie Crumpet for the win. This is my new thing. Long neck McGee, but Maggie Crumpet is all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> Maybe I should make that to a shirt that Next says Maggie Crumpet. A good name for a sex. No! Word. No! 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 Are you kidding me? Vaggy Kardashian? Oh my god! Oh! Next one, a historical event that would make a bad theme for no, a no, 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 The Holocaust would be a horrible thing for a restaurant, guys. It's horrible. Next in line, something you should no, no. Time to vote. What is happening? What are these questions? Are they just torturing me now? Oh my God! What is happening? Where are these questions? Dole Whip! <laughs> I don't understand! These questions have just... Just... Just changed into something crazy! Another name for a sex change operation. An Audi and two and any or condom. Well then... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, at least I win. But at what cost? We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi. No, it, it's on the PlayStation. It's like three bucks on the PS. To the last in. lash, the final round. Stakes are triple. <sighs> There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. 
Yeah, I'm nervous. The last flash prompt is a Girl Scouts cookie name that got oh, rejected no. because it was just too ridiculous sounding. Oh no. Oh. Mm. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is torture. I... <laughs> I have a bad feeling what the answer is going to be for this. I have a feeling it's going to be literally eight answers of the same thing. I know this because I know you people. I know you. Okay, soak it in. God your vote. Damn it. <laughs> What do you guys think? Should we do it again? Should we go one more round? I don't think anything can top that, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I can do one more round. I, 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 I don't know. Oh, God. Mm. Okay. Jeez. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Oh boy. The baggy crumpet. Oh god. I I'm <sighs> Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my chest. I I feel like I haven't laughed that hard in like forever. Oh hey, god. Welcome to Flash. We've been expecting you. Oh man. Just once oh, my can god. I pop up on Tom Hanks TV? Well, you'll do. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Time Greg. Uh, I hope you're ready you because this is going to be the most insane you like, like Plus, there are 20 minutes you have ever stake. done. Go. Oh God. Oh 
boy. Greens Guild, what's going on, buddy? Um, welcome aboard. Thank you for the super chat, uh, Ray. I appreciate it. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Greg's game room is in. Uh, I, I'm sad. <laughs> Greg missed a lot of of uh, these in jokes. That last one uh, nearly broke me. 100 it nearly broke me. Probably, probably broke me more than I care to say. Oh, that was way too funny. Oh, I was, I was so nervous. I was so scared of what everybody's answers was, and uh, it happened. It happened. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. here we go. Our first prompt is the best reason to go to Australia. The best reason to go to Australia, Vaggy okay, Reef. Boy, your favorite. <laughs> or marsupial wolves. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go. We're back into this again. That was a great answer. It's the best reason to go to Australia. And next, little known fact, a secret area in the White House is the blank room. Oh no, 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 the Thunderdome Time or the farting vote. room! Could you imagine if there was a room in the White House where the president would go just to fart? Like, that'd be cool. Or the Thunderdome where he just goes in and just fights people. Or people have to fight him. Or people fight each other. I do like the thunder though. Okay, next one. The name of a law firm you shouldn't hire. Baggy Crumpet. Vote on your devices. Get it again, man! <laughs> Kardashian and Crumpet. <laughs> I couldn't even get that creative. That was so good. But I will lose. Horrible, horrible name for a law firm. Kardashian and Crumpet, though. Oh, Next God. Up. An Olympic sport that never made it, synchronized blank. Oh, God. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Synchronized voters. But synchronized wound brushing is, is, is a close second. Next one. Something you probably shouldn't try to sell on eBay. Oh no, don't you ever use tampons! Oh, what would you try? <laughs> Don't sell toe jam. Yeah, I went there. I went for the obvious winner here, and it worked. Good job, Sean. Coming up next, a phrase you would love to hear Morgan Freeman say. Ah, uh, Morgan Freeman, you are not the father. It's <laughs> You are not the father. I want a bank robin. <laughs> <laughs> <Can> we... <laughs> Expedition theme box! Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome to the board. We're dying over here. We are dying over here. 
Okay, next one. The worst thing about oh, Canada. Oh, no. Oh, no. All the loonies. You're right. Next up, an odd casting choice would be Clint Eastwood as blank. No, 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 no. Angelina Jolt. Vote on your devices. No, come on, really? Vaggy Crumpet's grandfather, Papa Crumpet? Now we're taking a really funny joke and beating it to the ground. But Vaggy Crumpet's grandfather, Papa Crumpet, would be an interesting casting choice. Doing all the things. That's oh round god. One. Let's take a look at the scores. Hashtag Vaggy Crumpets, guys. Let's make this a hashtag. Hashtag it on Twitter. Hashtag Vaggy Crumpets. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Oh, and this is where things get a little insane. Round two is typically the most. This is going to be insane. This is going to be a very insane round. Based on the questions that I was asked, I am not prepared to see what is. Now, the last round was crazy. You guys all saw that. The last round was very, very crazy. And I am horrified. I'm horrified right now. We got 28 seconds. 25, 4, 3, 2. Oh boy. Black Panther okay, it's at the last minute. First up, good job. A bad name for an Italian restaurant. Oh. Okay, pick your favorite. Dig mm. dicks or pukies? Now, although Big Dicks did win, Pukies did win the popular vote. Congratulations. So that was four versus three. And next, another name for the Grand Canyon. No, 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 no. It's voting time. <laughs> the deepest vaggy on earth or the big white gash. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Next in line, the name of an all male version. I of am Hooters. not ready for this. Wieners or Cox. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> we tied, which is good. Next one. What's lurking under your bed when you sleep? No, 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 no. Vote on your devices. The Lord Vaggy Decrumpleton. We have created a lore about vaggy crumpets. It was one little piece, but now, it is now a character of all sorts of different characters. Peckers is a good one. 
Lord Zaggy de Crumpleton. Mm. And next is a great pet name for a parasitic worm that lives in your ear. Condoms are pear. It's over time. <laughs> Vaggy crumpets have taken over. Blaster Vaggy or wax. <laughs> <laughs> And I blame this game. I blame this game for the question that they asked to create an in joke so deep, deep into the psyche of the viewers of this channel that it just infests all Next other up, channels. Name a candle scent. No! 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 Hold on your devices. No! 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 Good answer, Greg. Next, come up with a three-word sequel to the book. I'm not ready. 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 I'm not, not ready. Time to vote. <sighs> Fart, smell, or poop, or eat that and crumpet all night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Okay, next one. What robots dream about? No! No, 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 no! no. It's voting time. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! I had a feeling it was gonna be bad. Um, <laughs> oh god. I knew this was gonna be bad, not this bad. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm dying. Oh god, no. No, this is Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. Greg, Greg, this game is always taking an odd turn. And I blame this game. Round three. The one single prompt this time. Our last flash prompt is the worst job title that starts with assistant. No, 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 no. I have a feeling how people are going to answer this one. And I know the four people that are waiting, the three people, they're probably coming up a, with, a, with a very, very... Oh, they, they didn't answer. You're ready to look. Vote away. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> we get what you 
what you mean, Greg. We get it. We get it. Welcome to the end joke capital of the world. Assistant butt liquor. Genital asshole washer. Oh, God. That's all. Now for the final scores. <sighs> nice hurt. Good job, Astro. <laughs> Alright. This game has officially ended my soul. And uh, it was a great live stream. And it, uh, it killed me. It 100% killed me. Uh, we'll have to do it again next week. We'll have a great, great fun. Thank you for watching. I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> God, I'm out. Oh my God. This is the most insane thing I've ever done.